Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on Reuters, October 13th, 2018. I want you to take a hard look at this title in front of you. Trump says family separations deter illegal immigration. So he's using family separation as a weapon to keep and discourage those folks from coming into the country. But before you cheer about this or think it's a good thing, I want you to think deeply about all of our separations during chattel slavery. They also weaponized family separations even back then. They took family members, sold them off to different owners and different parts of the South, and you never saw them again. How do you break the spirit of a person and make them easy to control? You take things away from them. Then they will comply. You, you forcing their hand. Okay, they don't have a family here to protect them anymore. I can do whatever I want. Husband's been sold off. I took the kids and I sold them off to different people. Now you're broken. I can do whatever I want to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what they do to this day. That separation during chattel slavery is really no different to the mass incarceration that's happening today. Who's being mass incarcerated heavily? the black community. They're using that as a weapon against us and they made it legal. See, that's what they do. They take something that really is totally immoral and they write it into law. Well, if I take the man out of the house and put him in jail on all kinds of trumped up charges and bogus reasons, then I keep you separated and your community is weak. So Trump is actually revealing something that we all knew. They use separating people as a weapon. The things that you reap, you shall sow. Don't you have to have a really sick nature to do something like that to people? You really do. So to any of the illegals out there, just know when you step on American soil, this is the legacy. See, everybody else, family separated. They make sure they try to keep their families intact. You know, very hypocritical as usual. So we all remember the images of them taking the children and separating the parents and then throwing these kids in cages. That is the great American way to any foreigner coming here, especially if you are the undesirable ones, you know, the ones with color in your skin. This is what they do and go back and study American history. This family separation thing is nothing new here on this land. You're just getting a dose of it when you come here. So no matter how much you thought this was a terrible thing, this president is letting you know he doesn't think this is a terrible thing at all. I bet if somebody went in there and busted up his family, he would have a fit. You know, you got to understand the hypocrisy nature and the ugly side of this kind of stuff happening in America. 
and they never stop doing it. And they're not going to stop doing it in 2018, 2019, 2020. It doesn't matter. We're just in the, a, a whole different time right now. But these are really the same people with the same exact attitudes as their forefathers. And this kind of stuff is showing you that it's still prevalent. It doesn't matter if one or two of them come forward and say, well, I didn't think that was right. That doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because if you're not working against the system to stop it, one or two people coming forward and saying, I don't think that's right, that's nothing. You know, Trump revealed this. And ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly how these people, forefathers, thought. Oh, we'll just separate them. We'll just sell them. You know, it's profitable if we take them and bust them up. We can make money. See, with us, it was all about money. Trump seemed to report that argument on Saturday. This is what he said. If they feel there will be separation, they don't come, he said, to migrants during comments to reporters at the White House. So he's letting you know this practice of separating families will go on. So all I can say to the immigrants is, now you know what it feels like. You only got a little piece of it. Try getting it for five centuries and then come and talk to us, okay? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.